We are at Robert's Camera downtown Indianapolis for another episode, exciting as it might be, of On the Rocks. And as with all On the Rocks, we begin our On the Rocks episode with a toast. But wait, this special episode is called Neat. Because we don't have ice. We don't have any rocks. No rocks at Roberts today. And we'll have neat stuff. Cheers, guys. Welcome to our What We Want for Christmas show. Oh, that feels good. So how many people want cameras for Christmas or something photographic? I got together with Phil Gibson, who you all know, and Jody Grover and said, hey, let's do a show where we talk about the things we want for Christmas. We're gonna start over here with Phil and he's gonna tell us his Christmas list because he doesn't even have anything in front of him. Yeah, he does. He does? Yeah. I'll take another <laughs> oh, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> some new bags that are kind of cool from Peak Design. They've got some new redesigned camera bags I wouldn't mind having. The Everyday Sling 3 liter. Does Rita watch this show? Not if she can help it. <laughs> <laughs> Default. The, the cool thing was, see me, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> the cool thing was they redesigned this because I remember when you oh, tried the original like backpack out, you hated it yeah, because I everything didn't. fell out the side. I didn't like it either. Well, so they, they fixed it now? They got smart. I mean, it still opens all the way, but now they've changed it to where it's not going to just fall out of the So the side zippers aren't in the, no side pockets. Right, it's now. still got the whole origami thing going on. But, but it's, you can do it it's from a, the top. Yeah, you can do it from the top, which That's makes sense. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a smaller bag. I mean, they have a couple different versions of it, but this one's really small compared to the the original, really lightweight. How the shoulder straps, did you try carrying it on your shoulders? Yeah. Yeah, they're comfortable. It's nice, yeah. Wow, look yeah. at the way they built this thing with. It has this chest strap. Rivets? Yeah. Oh, is there a chest strap? Yeah, there is yeah, a yeah, little there chest is. strap. There is. A, little a lot of times the small bags don't have them there. It's nice. They're I guess essential. if you're, it's got a handle here, so if you're like doing mirrorless work, or two handles here. Yeah, um, it's a sweet little one bag. One of the things about Peak Design bags, and Peak, the Peak Design does some really, really good stuff. They have stuff. a new color. Look at that color. Wow, nice. dark blue with a yeah. brown trim. I doubt they call it dark blue. Well, what do you think they call what it? What do they call it? Midnight. Whoa. Midnight. <laughs> Midnight blue. I guess dark blue really it's is pretty a dark blue. Do you want to see blue. what Phil's going to get for Christmas? This is yeah. for Mary Jane catching me when I fall down the hill. Yeah. yeah big, big handles pull you up yeah. back up after you've fallen down. EM5 Mark III. Oh, you have one? No, I want one. Though. Oh, I want this one. This is too. about what we want, right? Yeah, yeah. I want one. Yeah, they took an EM-1 and they jammed it into this little body is really what they did. I mean, it's got a lot of the characteristics of the EM-1 in a very small package. Let's talk like about it. Olympus for a minute because these guys make a really good camera and I think they got... You want to the, talk about the ridiculous rumors online? Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Yeah. Just, I'm sort of bummed because when they go out of business, who am I going to send my stuff for repair? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, one of the things that drives me crazy about uh, the, the internet are, are the rumor sites. and. You know, really, one person uh, could really ruin a company as, you know, they take the rumor or they hear something and... See, I know, take they... exception to that. I don't think it's the rumor companies that I have a problem with. I have a problem with the people that believe them. Well, they, they get clicks and that's what, you know... Well, the, it's, the but it's not rumor sites now as much as it is reputable people on YouTube. They used to be very reputable because and they might still be, but they put the if stuff. you keep putting stuff like that out, you're not going to be reputable. I Hopefully they things. won't be reputable because people won't actually right. pay attention and trick. Plus, and all these guys that talk on. about these closing companies, Nikon's, you know, here's what Nikon should do. I and mean, it's like, you guys are in the photo industry too. I mean, you want that to succeed so you can still be employed in the photo industry. I, I don't understand, unless you have something solid. I mean, everyone's not doing great. It's, it's everyone's, it's a, tough market it's a small, right now. you know, it's, it's a pie that gets smaller every year. And no one, even Sony, as well as they're doing, I'm sure they'd like to sell more cameras. I'm you know, sure they would. Yeah. Well, I think the, 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 the danger is an individual just 
puts something up there like that and says all the employees are running for the hills and looking for new jobs and you know the future is uncertain and probably going to close in the next few months you know these things can happen in any business we've already seen it happen with companies like contacts in the back and you know yeah. a number of years ago and what's that yellow guy that company with the, the yellow <laughs> and the k you know where do they go hey um, we're a distributor now of what kodak kodak yeah oh wow that's a big growing market yeah so, <laughs> Jody always comes with visual aids, <laughs> or something like that. So anyway, please, you know, be, be a little thoughtful here, is that until it comes from the horse's mouth, these things are just not right. Yeah, you know, and they can damage not. a company, they can ruin you know, individuals and families and all sorts of things by, you know, causing undue panic. Olympus, obviously, they just put out a new camera. They're not gonna put out a new camera if they're going out of business. They published their roadmap. They've got some great lenses that are coming. And when you look at what they've done this year alone with the new lenses and the, the, the cameras, oh, I, you know. Th we'll be talking about them in the next show. Yeah, I hope so, because um, they've got that EM, what, what is it, the E1MX? EM1X. Man, it came out in 2019. Part of this year. It's still 2019. Yeah, that's you know, part of my 2019 list. I bet companies like Sony and Nikon yeah. wish they could just kind of enlarge it and put a big full-frame sensor and, in it. And I'm going to segue. I'm not going to take any of your space, but I'm going to segue because this has happened into my Christmas list. Is that right side up? Yep. <laughs> no, I don't want anything for Christmas, ever. <laughs> World peace. But if my birthday, oh yeah, world peace. <laughs> I would like my sweetheart to get better. She's sick, love you, honey. But if my birthday was now, <laughs> this is all I want. What is, oh, that's that myth, mystical lens. That's the, the mythical 150 to 400 with a 125 teleconverter in it for Olympus. I've seen it on the, uh, it's on the roadmap. It's on the roadmap. Yeah, it's, it's, but will they make it before they close? <laughs> Want to put some money on it? Look at that. That was a visual aid. That's like a pretty that. damn cool looking lens. Yeah. So out of curiosity, when they have a, a, a multiplication factor of two with the micro four thirds. That's so that's a 150 to 400. So that's an 800. To 300. Four five with a one two five converter. Like snaps in. No, it's actually in the lens. It's yeah. actually integrated. In. It's integrated. It's, 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 it's like snaps in. in. I mean, yeah. it's, it yeah. you know, yeah. kind of yeah. comes down yeah. or something. Yeah. And then, so 1.4, taking 1.4 times 800, 1.4 times 800, that's 800 <laughs> divided by point. Can anybody help us out? Oh, Maybe shit. <laughs> we would just You're like, warm. <laughs> You're really warm. I must have it. Uh, so anyway, this great little camera. Actually, um, Olympus just wrote to me and said they're going to send one to uh, a Photo PXL so we can do a review of nice. it and uh, put yeah. it through the, the, the runs, which is very nice of them. Um, Thank you, Olympus, for realizing we have a good website again, and you know we're cooking, so appreciate that, and we'll give it a run for its money. Look forward to the photographing with that. And you've given them a lot of no, we've done good, a lot for, with good them. Press, but, you yeah, know, it's, they've been good, uh, remember, good partners. We're, we're kind of still a new website, um, so you know we're we're kind of starting you know from scratch, and we're only been around for a few months. <laughs> that shows you where that lens is going. <laughs> Anything else, Phil, from you for your, your Christmas list? That's all I got. Really? Well, okay. I lied. So we're, we're, we're going to do two no segments. No mas pantalones. Right? Well, I have but, a no, segment. no, save that for the second uh -uh. segment. Yeah, but no, I really want but it. He wants well, but I really want it. Well, then tell us what you want for Christmas. And for there Phil, might be, there for, might be a reader out there and a viewer that just says, you yeah, know. Yeah, for, but for, for my for shopping I really list. like Phil. For my shopping list. For Phil to that's really like really that want. means a lot. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Wow. 70 to 200 f2.8 rf i'll Ooh. get into it more when we talk about okay. gear of the year but oh. i'm telling you this is you this i an want r fan i have i have, have. Yep, you got it's a and again I, I don't want to spoil what i was going to say in the next but All yes right, well. i i'm telling you this is the other thing i want for christmas okay okay All rita right. yeah. or, or any, just saying any generous viewer out there rita just got a new job so <laughs> yeah 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 so I'm going to get the so lens. Get Thanks, the lens. Jody. I wasn't sure. <laughs> never know. So, Jody, what else for Christmas did you uh, the other, I don't want anything for Christmas, but what? if I were to have a birthday come up, the other thing I would like, and it goes with a story, is this Manfrotto Pro Light 55. This is a damn good sipping. That is good. 
sip away while I The off. reason I want this is I met a, uh, an old friend, very, 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 very experienced photographer, and we had dinner in Jackson a few months back, and uh, I had problems with my plane reservations, and I couldn't do a carry-on. And I said, oh my God, I had to repack everything, and there were many times when I hit the plane, and I didn't get a good seat, so I'm in zone five, and I gotta check my gear. It's a complicated problem oftentimes, and I'm mentioning on this particular time, I had a very bad problem with my ticket, and my friend says to me, well, I got rid of that. What I do is I take my bag, fill it with all my gear, and this bag will hold my entire Olympus system, all four bodies, all the lenses, no problem. And he takes this through security. He's at the gate, this is there, this will carry on. It's 9, 14, 22, no problem. What he does after security is he puts a padlock on this. And I haven't been to a flight in 10, five years where they didn't say, anyone wants to check a bag to the destination right now, we'll do it for free if it's at the gate, we don't have enough room. Since he's past security, and this is the part I never put together, no one's ever gonna open this, need to open this again. No one's gonna open it up and steal his gear. So that's what I'm getting. I've actually, I already ordered, ordered it for myself. Yeah. Wow, well, you're buying yourself a Christmas present. Uh, no. Or your birthday present. Thank you. <laughs> and All so right. that's, uh, it solves a lot of problems and, uh, and it's a nice case. What other things are on your list? That's it. That's it? That's my whole list. Oh, well, well, you know, you're, one of the things I, I live really a very like, simple these guys life. kind of run a minimalist life. <laughs> I've always got a list. And now you have your list. Um, <clears throat> Phil, you want a pillow? <laughs> Let me get a... <laughs> you won't need no stinking pillow. I'm going to do this really fast, because we said it would be really nice if we actually kept this, this video less than 20 minutes long. Uh -huh. So a couple quick things I want. I want the Sony a7R IV, which I actually have now. Okay, so that was a kind of an early Christmas gift. Um, you know how you kind of do that once in a while? Uh, that's a 61 megapixel. No, no, I don't. You don't ever give yourself, don't ever gift yourself early. Say, no. I was really good this I week. I never gift myself my bike on time or late. Miles. Anyway, I, I tend to gift myself early. So I gifted myself an, a Sony a7R IV, and I just recently took it to Yosemite and uh, Death Valley and Alabama Hills and a whole bunch of places, Lone Pine and... Uh, we'll have a kind of a review coming up on it, but it's a magnificent, cool camera. Files on it are excellent, and in the review, you'll actually be able to download some files so you can see for yourself how well that camera does. So remarkable that for less than $4,000, you've got a 61 megapixel camera with some amazing, amazing specs to it. Uh, and I know it's very tough saying, oh, they got medium format style cameras out at 50 megapixels. You got the Sony, which is a little above that. You got the GFX 100. Uh, with 100 megapixels, you get to a certain point where 20 or 30 megapixels isn't going to be all that noticeable. Uh, of course, the Fujis and, and their large size sensors are going to have bigger pixels. Bigger pixels are better, supposedly, but I've made prints from both and done comparatives now, and really most people can't tell the difference. With the ability I'm very, to very excited about our next two shows from now to do the prints. Yeah, because well. I've done some things with Micro Four Thirds, and I want to see if in this in, if in this day and age, exactly. what is the difference between large pixels and small yep. pixels? So we we will be doing some comparisons. We will be going at the studio. We will be using the printers at the studio, and we will be making comparisons and looking at them. Um, uh, and it's I think you'll be pretty amazed. So much talk about this, and so many times. We can put these images together and not see anything. I just made for an article coming up on the iPhone, 17 by 22 inch images, and really you would not have a problem with those. 13, 19 images look fabulous coming off that, that device. So it's pretty fun. Well, that list wasn't very long, thank you. No, we're not done yet. Oh, oh, so sorry. I have, and most of you who've read anything on uh, PhotoPXL know that my favorite lens is the 100 to 400 millimeter lens and uh, that's the Sony G Master 100 to 400. And this is the next lens uh, I think is gonna be my favorite. This is the Sony G Master uh, 200 to 600 millimeter lens. Now, why I like these lenses is I travel a lot to uh, Arctic and Antarctic and uh, places in between and uh, stumble upon wildlife, birds, uh, walrus, 
uh, whales, um, uh, even uh, if we're lucky, some polar bear. And you know, these lenses, specifically with the high ISO capability, uh, the fast frame rate, and the IAF on animals, just going to make for a marvelous. Uh, uh, partnership. So uh, that that's our lens. Let's let's. <laughs> I'm showing that it can, it's a versatile lens. <laughs> so anyway, this is on my wish list. I do hope that sometime next year I'll be able to uh, purchase this lens. It's around eighteen hundred dollars, which I think is a magnificent price for uh, uh, a lens with that capability. So well, also you, has, you could purchase that scratched one now for less. Not scratched. If, if you, just, oh, that's his plan. Just roll Wait around a, a little bit. <laughs> He's a sly devil. And it's kind of cool looking. It's a big white lens, and you put that lens hood on there, and people yeah. are going to call, are you a pro? Okay, um, another uh, camera I wanted for Christmas, and it just showed up. And I'm still not quite sure about it, so it's, it has to grow on me. This is the X-Pro3 by Fujifilm. Um, it's a 26 megapixel camera, but if you can see the back there, it has no rear screen. It's a weird camera. And it's got like a little LCD, color LCD screen, which kind of shows the film type you have it set at. And to really work with it, you've got to pull the, the screen down. What about it needs to grow on you? Because I think it's the coolest one they've made so far. Well, I've, I guess what I'm trying to say is, when this first came out, the internet went crazy. So yeah. who would want to buy a camera like that? But it's a rangefinder camera. It's a rangefinder camera. And what I think Fuji's idea was, was to focus on your photography. Don't take yeah. a picture and, and go exactly. down. Don't take a picture right. and do this. If you want that, get an X-T3, <clears throat> right? Frankly, the only thing I ever care about when I'm shooting is my histogram. One of the things I wish they would do here is just turn that into a histogram ah, screen. Okay. If they could put a histogram on the back here and I could, you know, come back and just say, oh, the histogram. Why not? Yeah, but you can put the histogram up here in the viewfinder. Yeah, you can put it, yeah, but I if mean, you're using the range finder, okay, okay. The, through the, you know, the range yeah, yeah, finder, yeah. you can't yeah. see that. Why not have the uh -huh. camera have a screen on the back and let the user decide, wait, let the uh -huh. user decide whether they use it or not. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Was, that's revolutionary thinking. I don't get it. Well, what they did was make up the mind for the user, yeah. saying you're not yeah. going to get yeah. a screen. Yeah. We're going we're to tell you what film you're shooting with. So, you know, oh, I'm still shooting with Velvia. I like that. <laughs> I like that old-fashioned cool. thing. That's that's that kind of cool. And you know, the problem is too. You, you know, you, you can't flip it down and turn it around, so you can't really. You can't uh, hold it up. You, use you it can for, hold it down. But you, you can't hold it. Yeah, up. and you can't use it for um, vlogging. The other problem I found so far is that. If I put a tripod plate on the bottom of it, you know, tripod plates, even the smallest ones are pretty uh -huh. square, and that limits the pull down to just about there, which is kind That's of almost- true. That, that is kind of a problem. Kind of almost yeah. A, yeah. a problem. Um, you know, but again, I think the people that use this camera are range finder this, people. Well, That's, I know, but you know, if, if they would have hinged it from the side where you could yeah. pull it out- Did and, you look at the internet then, today? And flip it out. This is the camera why Fuji's going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> That rumor. <laughs> that rumor. <laughs> oh well, no, I didn't see that one. But anyway, my experience with this so far, and I've only had it for a day, is uh, pretty no interesting. No one's going to be left except Leica. And um, <laughs> Leica. Uh. Actually, wouldn't that be kind of? <laughs> <laughs> it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> that Leica, Leica, the last camera company standing. That's good. You can, you can just <laughs> see good. them with a, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Like is a great point, though. I mean, if that company can do it, anybody can do it. You know, that's my opinion. With that. I, and I know they know what they're doing, but you know, you know what I mean. You just uh, yep. they come out with cameras. They know exactly how many they're going to sell. Those guys and are it's, brilliant. You yeah, know, in my, they are. But I mean, it's no one worries about Leica. The other thing I'd like to say is that <clears throat> there's another camera I've looked at. And I'm more curious and probably want it, and that's the Panasonic. Let me help you pick that up. It's pretty heavy. It actually is pretty heavy. That's a giant lens on there, and it is. It's, it's heavy it, without it's, the lens. It's big, and it's. But there's a lot of talk about the SR1 and the image quality coming off of it, and uh, I think the jury's still out in regards to how well it does. You guys are selling these. Are they selling off the shelves? No. No. I mean, honestly, no. No. Um, but this is a just a 50 millimeter prime, and that's not indicative of Panasonic. No. We sell a, we sell a lot of Panasonic. A ton of Panasonic. But we don't Great. sell a lot of these. We don't sell a lot of these. But the Micro Four Thirds, the GH5s. And Does extremely well. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they do good. Still, still doing well. Which is really interesting. All this talk about the Micro Four Thirds, and it's still moving well and still ah, being used. How about well. that? 
And that's from a lot of people that don't use it or, uh, or want it to yeah. fail, which is weird. But yeah, whatever. Now, a couple of things that might be missing from here. Uh, one of the things I, I would, if I had my druthers, would be to have a, a TFX 100. Yeah. Um, we did a whole show on it. Yep. It's great. It's, a, it's a super camera. There's a little, some idiosyncrasies with it, but for $9,000 to get a 100 megapixel camera, uh, with all the features that that camera has, focusing, speed, you know, frame rate, and all that stuff. Video. I think they they really uh, pulled it out, and Fujifilm's done a great job with it. And nice if camera. if I win the lottery and 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 have a budget, uh, that might be the first stop I make. Um, so, guys, watch the lottery ticket. I'll text you if I win, and you know what I, what to put on order. And uh, the last thing, which we don't talk a lot about, is the the printing devices. And boy, do I want the Epson 44 inch. That's a winner. That's a winner? Okay. So that's your method of investing is lotto tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's real smart. Just for you to know. <laughs> Any of you readers that invest by using lotto, uh, leave a comment below and let us know how you're doing with it. <laughs> and I can, I can help you. Very low rates. I can I help you, have you your number yeah, learn very, how to invest with the lotto. Very you have a lot of, you should actually do that as a cell phone show. Where yeah. We can even do a video it's on a it. It's a new show. New show idea. And uh, that's about it. Last but not least, as I said, the 44 inch 9570 Epson printer. This thing looks like it's going to kick ass. Uh, it's time to replace my old 9900 printer and uh, move up to a faster and Why? reliable printer. May I ask you a question? Why? Professional uh, question? Yes. Why do you? Or do you prefer Epson instead of Canon? Well, frankly, I have two Canon printers and I have two Epson printers. Oh, okay. Which do you prefer? But <clears throat> actually, we've done a test and made a print from each. Oh, that's another show. That's another show. That's our other show. And you yeah. can't tell the difference between either print. Okay. Ah. So if I put a print in the Pro 1000 and a print in the P800 and the same file run through the same way, even though it's different ink sets and a lot of other little things. Let me ask you this. You can't open <laughs> what about What about drying uh -huh. issues with the print heads? Do you see anything between Epson and Canon on that? I, because I actually, on the consumer side, we do. I'm just curious on the high end on, stuff. On the P800, I, I find I can be up and running more reliably with the P800 really? faster. Okay. Because every time I leave the 1000, the, the, the P1000 done for a while, you turn it on and it's got to go through all this clickety clack blowing okay. the lines free and okay. doing what it does before it makes a print. However, once both printers are up and running and warmed up and to that point, really they make prints just about as fast as each other. You, know, you can okay. push the button on That's each and, okay. you're gonna, and you're not going to tell the difference between the two. And mm -hmm. we'll do that when we have our, our print test. Okay. When we won't drink on, on that episode till afterwards because we don't want our color. Yeah, yeah, you know, we want to make sure the colors are right. Yeah, we want to make sure our colors sense. are right. <laughs> so it, it's a happy holiday season. Um, you know, everybody used to say happy holiday, but uh, we're going to say Merry Christmas because that's what it really <laughs> says. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, you know, what would I'm you good. Like to think it is? Do you want to go back to happy holiday and feel better? He hates both. I know. Just... Good Saturnalia to you all. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode, which will be gear of the year. Chin chin. See you later. Dr. Tom, thank you. Dr. Fisher. This is it. We're at the end. We need another bottle. Hey, we need another <laughs> bottle, Dr. Fisher. I think that was good. That was good. Yeah, you got a lot of editing. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think anything has to be edited.